Okay. Let me make sure my mic is working this time. There's a little tiny action for the... I was going to say the boys, but like... What if a female did watch this? So that's also a possibility. Um, little Connie action though. She's kind of bad, yeah. It's kind of obvious, but I'm struggling. Muggling. Be smuggling. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm not like that. But, where am I? Dot, dot, dot. But yeah, Connie's kind of like running around, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty lost at the moment. I see the on my tools because of the perk little icon. And yeah, so I, I had that way. Health, always the big health noted, not small health. There is two sizes. Um, And since I'm a G, I immediately do the unlock tool because I'm just built that way. And now I got like two pretty cool items. And I see another one, but obviously I already have two pretty cool items, so I don't really need to. <gasps> I see a female. I turn around. There was another human being with me. I have found a friend. Um, I'm trying to, like, get her to do the unlock tool, right? Like, I'm pretty sure she doesn't have any items, right? Because it's, like, the beginning of the match. It's, like, one minute into the video. So, yeah, I just kind of did because she was being stupid and didn't grab the unlock tool. Juice that again. Okay, she was behind me, so I, like, I run back because I just used my unlock tool because I want to get another one. So, I get another unlock tool. Yep. As such. And now she gets the unlock tool, which makes me contemplate and run in circles and ultimately jump in cooler and hide from the Bubba chainsaw in the distance so yeah and then I get that little like thing on the right boohoo yay but why didn't you grab the unlocked one the first time and I was like you know what I mean I was kind of like signal like like I don't know you, you know so yeah I leave I literally don't think I see her for the rest of the game so yeah she was pretty cool but that was the only interaction I had with literally any of my teammates this whole game so now I'm just solo Ben solo dolo I murdered this door, by the way. Yep. Connie, OP. So, now I'm kind of like crippled on the bottom right. This is her ability. It makes you not get your stamina back. I think that's all it does. I'm pretty sure that's all it does. So, if you don't have stamina while you do it, you are like, are kind of like not going to get stamina back until the whole bottom right timer goes all the way, which it's almost done. I get a fuse. This fuse is useless. I don't do anything with it the whole game, but. It could have a use, it just is useless in this game. Because I didn't find where to put it in the tool, like, box thing. Okay, stay calm. Okay, no. Maybe tool, like the wall thing. So... Okay, yeah, this is like the room of the action. I murder that little window thingy, and then I'm like, kind of like, oh, where do I go? So I just guess I go through it. Oh, crouch hole? I don't, I don't know what to call it. I open this door. This, yeah, this room's gonna be important later because that's kind of like where the, the glitch happens, which you guys will see. So, yeah, I'm just kind of like setting up this pace. At the time, I didn't really think it was gonna be of use doing all this, but like, I just did it because like, I was kind of like, ooh, I kept on like finding things to interact with. So, yeah. Can I go back to it? Don't really know why I did that. Oh, wait. I don't know, I'm like, oh, the door opened. Is that a homie over there? Nope, that's... I don't know his name, but it's a bad guy. So I dip and run and hide, okay? trying to escape from the line of sight of that man. And then my corner of safety Just is now of use to me. So now that I lift the thing up, and there's sure like the red aura on the screen. And I see the feet, the feet. I saw the feet out like a DVD trick where I'm like hiding at like the corner of the loop, whatever side the bad person comes from. That's just, I go the other way jump out here i hear bubble to the right so i'm like nope in the woods and behind me there is going to be a crevice but i don't see it at all here and i kind of wish i did because it probably would have been like a safer decision which will make sense if you like think about this spot and then i come back later. so yeah bubble's over there kind of just like being a little like sissy hiding but like in this game you kind of have to be stealthy which is literally because like, like if you get found you usually just die so you kind of have to be careful. I mean, I do have some pretty gnarly this. escapes, which is also a good way to live. I could have opened that thing on the left, but I did not. So yeah, just running. I find the handle here. This handle ultimately gets me the dub, I'm pretty sure. I think, maybe? I think it does. Yeah, I think this is the, this is the use, this is the way I escape this game. Spoiler alert, I do escape, but I mean like, it's still gonna be like hyped up, you know? So, 
I'm trying to fight, find the stairs to the box or to get to the propane tank. Grandpa is awakened, so I must not move. Yes. I book it. I'm trying to find the stairs. I think I do find the stairs. I go down the stairs. I actually expected this to be like locked, but it wasn't, which was a dub. However, it alerted my location, which was not a dub. This also alerted my location, and like, when I was playing this, I like knew that was like gonna like. I just had to go through it. Like, what option I have? There is a unlock key to my right, and also this, which I'm pretty sure is just a propane tank. Yeah. And then, yep, I book it. Oh, I do get an unlock tool, which I did trim, so you guys don't have to watch me do skill check thingies, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's just, like, polite, because, like, who wants to see that? I thought this was the door I could use my unlock tools on, but it wasn't. It's actually where we... Is that where the fuse goes? If I didn't drop the fuse, literally, would I have escaped right there? I don't know, maybe. If, that, if that's true, I would be... I'm actually pretty depressed. I don't know, I'm still getting this game, you know, so... I don't know. I wasn't really, like, thinking. Um, I'm pretty sure Grandpa goes off. Yup. Grandpa, I must feed him blood. Look at my stamina right now, though. Too holy. It's a lot of stamina. I think I upgraded that. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, because I put, like, my skill points into Kalani, and then I put them on, I think, Endurance, so that may be why it's high. I'm not entirely sure. I use my Mastermind Jukes to avoid Skeleton Bone hanging from String. And I keep booking it because I saw that yellow gate. I'm pretty sure I used a perk or my teammate used a perk, which let me see it too. Yes. And yeah, I'm just trying to head that way. Luckily, this passageway was open, but this is where Sheet is about to go down the slaughterhouse corridor or the loading dock. More so the loading dock, I would say. But yeah, I'm trying to like, I think that yeah, it's over there, but like, I. Okay, even in this moment, I'm pretty sure I hear Bubba, but I'm kind of smart, so I keep going to Bubba, or I go to Bubba, yeah, because I'm smart, yep, that's what I meant to say, yep, so I go to Bubba, because I'm smart, and I realize there's blue electricity, which is, like, the main threat, but Bubba's also a threat, then I see, I think his name's Johnny, maybe, I don't know, Johnny's chasing me, and he does stab me in the back, like, a few times, so, like, yeah, I'm, like, running, screaming, bleeding, pretty sure I'm, like, thought I was gonna die here, but that was a pretty good window to, like, squeeze through, I'm pretty concerned for my life right now, but yeah, Bubble was like really far back, so really Johnny, I think, I'm just gonna call him Johnny. Okay, this was in my mind here, I was really unsure. Ah, dropped my controller on my foot, but yeah, I didn't really know what to move or to keep moving or just stay still, so stealthy, I know is the way to play this game, so I stopped moving, and I'm pretty sure it does pay off, because I do ultimately like yeah, but like, wait, no, I literally encounter every killer right here, because Bubba over there, Bubba's over there, and Johnny, and then I'm pretty sure the other guy is the one that, like, finds me again, so yeah, okay, this is the, there's a fuse over there too, I think, I just passed, yeah, there's a lot of things in this game, blood, sack, okay, see, that was the crevice I was talking about earlier, I didn't even notice that crevice when I was playing this game, but after I, like, went through it, it's like, I don't know, you know, okay, Connie, OP again, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got two uses of her ability this game, which is really good. It's like two free doors, basically. I could have got another unlock tool. Thankfully, I didn't. I get this heal instead. And yeah, this is where another thing is about to go down. So I don't know. At this point, I kind of felt safe because like it didn't seem like I was in a chase. You know, I kind of like escaped him right after I went through that crevice. And then I was like, okay. Let's hopefully this door is open. I think, like, I didn't really think the propane tank opened this door, but I'm pretty sure the propane tank in the basement is what opened this door. Or maybe, well, no, yeah, 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 I think, I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Okay, then, out of nowhere, that happens. Me being extremely smart goes into the locker. So, at this point, I thought I was dead, you know. But then the game basically, like, glitches out, and I'm recovering DVD style but in the locker, so, yeah, and then I have Unbreakable, because I'm built different, and I get up, but I'm glitching the locker, but then he opens the locker, and, yeah, so at that point, I was like, okay, I guess I'm in the glitch spot, 
And I'm like, well, I'm not going to leave because then he's probably just going to stab me. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, I have to leave or I'm going to die. So I just like dip. And then I see that thing that to me. That's where I wanted to go, by the way, not the locker. And then I'm like, okay, I just got to pray. Look at my health. So I'm pretty sure one more shot would have killed me. And look at that. Look at that. Just like that clean escape. Mm, perfection. I was, I was so happy. It's still like, oh, that game, beautiful.